Hello everyone, it's been a while since I've made a video, and here's a new game that I made. Not my game, actually someone else's game, and I just like the rules, and I made a uh, quick little program of it. And hopefully you'll like it, I hope to post it for download, hopefully either tonight or tomorrow, or when I have time. There's one small glitch in it, well not much of a glitch, just a rule I haven't um, been able to address yet. It's called Corridor, as you can see, this is uh, the kind of my... Uh, developer version has the numbers up there in the corner and uh, basically the idea of the game is basically to take your color from one side to another now there's four players that you can play with I'm only playing with two right now the other players I've uh, kept off the board just for the moment and I'll be playing as both players just to show you how the game is played alright so you have two types of actions that you can do and you can only choose one during your turn the game starts off with red, then goes to blue. Sooner or later, the players will be able to choose their own colors and the order of play. And also, depending on the variant that they play, they'll be able to choose where they want to put their, their player. When I first made this game, you were actually able to do that, but uh, just for uh, time's sake and rules' sake, I set it up so that way they're stuck in the middle, which is fine. All right, And the game is played by moving one space at a time. Not going diagonal, though. Only going up, down, left, or right. So here I'm going to go as both players. Uh, I'll show you how uh, selecting a wall works. When you select a wall, you can block your opponent and they cannot go through that wall. So let's go place this wall. I don't know if it really shows up. I'm going to choose a different color. I was playing this actually with my mom and she told me to do a pink board. So I did a quick pink board. Sooner or later the player will be able to choose their own board. And here is his red turn, or excuse me, red's turn. I'm going to go and put a wall right here in front of blue. Now it's blue's turn and blue has to go around this wall in order to get across. If I click above, the blue will not actually go through the wall. So let's go see what blue wants to do. It'd probably be smarter to go this way. Red's going to advance. Uh, blue will advance. Red will go one more time and blue will go and block red. Alright, someone just called me right now so I hope he didn't mess up the recording. But anyways, it's red's turn so let's see what red would want to do. It seems smarter by the looks of it to go to the left, but if I go to the left, blue might just keep on blocking me, so I might just go to the right. Uh, blue will go through. By the looks of it, the reason why red's not doing much is because blue is already far behind while red is almost halfway through the board. So I think red is actually going to draw that out. Blue will go up. Now if you look here, if both colors were to jump into each other, they actually don't share a space. The piece that jumps into the other piece will actually jump over that piece. I'll show you in just a second. So if red was to go here, blue can actually jump right over red, just like that. So excellent. Happy I got that implemented. Now while I'm playing, there's one quick thing I wanted to ask people to see if you know anyone knows how to do this, but there's one problem I have. In the rules of uh, this game is called Corridor. In the rules of Corridor, you're not allowed to completely block off a single path. Now, when placing a uh, little wall, you can't put it on top of another wall. So here I'm clicking, nothing will happen. So I put that in. That is a rule. Another thing you can't do is you can't, of course, cross like this. Because this is one complete wall in the actual game. So, of course, walls can't go through walls. I mean, you can go like this and put another uh, another wall right here uh, to the left of it but uh, you're not allowed to completely block off the path to the goal so for instance create an entire uh, line of walls that will keep blue from going to his uh, goal which is which is to get to the opposite side of the board that's the goal for blue and red uh, so does anyone know how to have the computer check for that and I've done several things, I'm trying several things, I'm getting closer but I'm sure I'll be a little ways away before I actually get to where I want to get to, where I keep the players from uh, being able to completely block off uh, the color from going to their proper objective. Now, of course, you'd have to play this game with someone who plays fairly because they can actually cheat and keep the other player from going to their objective uh, position. Uh, so, still working on it. I'm not giving up. It's Blue's turn right now, so let's, let's see, we'll, we'll have Blue go over here, that way Red has to waste their little wall token and put it right there. Uh, blue's turn, Blue will go here, and what I'm going to do 
it's gonna be a jerk and block off blue that way he has to go all the way around so by the looks of it it looks like blue is not going to win this game but maybe there'll be a comeback we'll see um yeah let's try this out hmm yeah we'll go here uh red will go this way it's blue's turn here down in the right bottom corner you can see that it shows how many walls are left now you have the ability in this game to give each players uh, more walls to play with at the beginning before you start a game in the original game each player only has 10 walls so the game by a default only gives each player 10 walls but at the title screen, you have the ability to actually give each player more walls to begin with. Uh, that way you can place as many walls as you can until you fill up the entire board full of walls and it's just one giant maze. When I was playing this with my mother earlier, it was actually quite fun to play the game that way where you had um, so many walls. It made the game a lot more challenging because here you're only limited to 10. So you have to be more uh, careful where you place your walls. Okay, we'll just have blue go around. And red is just going to go all the way around. Now, see, look. Uh, according to the rules, if I was to go and block off red, put another wall here, another one here, and then put a wall right next to blue. I don't know if my mouse is showing up, but put a wall right next to blue, uh, that'd be illegal. However, my, my program won't stop you from doing that right now, which is uh, not a very cool thing right now. Okay, so... Since I already know what my player is going to do, I can already guess what they're going to do before they do it. Obviously, blue is going to block off red's path, so red's going to have to go all the way around. Here, red will go and make things harder for blue. There we go. Now, see, look. There's only one more space for a wall. My game will actually let you block off blue's path to the goal. However, you're not supposed to. So my question to people who know how to mess with this type of stuff, how do you keep the game from allowing you to do that. If you can help me, I'd appreciate it greatly because that's all this game is really missing. That and one other rule that I actually will not mention because it's not a big one. And I can fix it uh, just with a little bit of time. It'll definitely be fixed before this game is released uh, out to um, the public. So that's why I don't even uh, care to mention it. All right. Blue's getting close, so red was winning but now it looks like blue is catching up Here we'll see again I can completely block off blue's path but uh, since I'm gonna be fair I'm not gonna let that happen uh, by the looks of it it looks like blue caught up and red might actually be the winner of this one I mean I mean blue might actually be the winner of this one blue's just gonna truck forward hmm have red just move up one space. Blue will move this way. Red will block him off like that. Yeah. I think I know what I'm doing here. Alright, so red will continue on. Oh, it's blue's turn. What am I talking about? Red will continue on. Okay, cool. Red. Blue go here. Red is going to have to stop blue right here. Alright. Uh, blue will go again, and red will actually stop blue in his tracks. Actually, no, red is out of walls. <laughs> well, this is going to be a very, uh, a very close game. Blue is going to have to stop red, and by the looks of it, blue is going to definitely, most, yeah, most definitely be the winner of this game since. Red is out of walls. Normally, the player left with walls is the one who normally wins. If one player runs out of walls before the other player while the game's still going on, normally the chances of that player without walls to win is pretty dang slim. Because look at this. Blue is just going to head home. Red can try, but red was one turn away. And there you go. Push enter if you like to play again. You can play again. However, I don't know what's going on. I can't seem to go back to the title screen. I just seem to start a brand new game with the same settings, which is annoying. So that will also be fixed before the next uh, initial release. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll definitely be starting to work on some more board games as time goes on. I'm pretty excited about it. This is one game. So actually what you can do, if you're interested in this type of stuff, is actually request games you would like me to work on. 
and I'd definitely be more than happy to work on. Another thing that you could actually do is if you don't like the look of this game, is if you wanted to on your free times, uh, provide me with some uh, some images you'd like me to implement into the game. Since this is a really basic and simple game, I'm not actually gonna prob or most likely not gonna put in my own images right away. But sooner or later, I plan to, unless you guys uh, provide me with those images. But anyway, that's it for this game. And that's it for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I really look forward to uh, releasing this out to you guys for free download on my website, which I will post in the description below. Anyway, guys, take it easy, and thank you for watching.